fucking kicks in I just wanna, I just wanna, I just wanna throw my hands I just wanna mic with a stand I just wanna, I just, I just wanna catch one glance I just wanna see you dance, girl I just wanna, uh, yeah Hi guys, my name is Estelle and welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I did a really pretty fun Thanksgiving dinner eye look. Yes, <laughs> this look is perfect for Thanksgiving dinner because it's glam, it's fun, and it's also very photo friendly because all we really do is eat and take pictures anyways, so pop this on and you're ready to go for all types of pictures. And I got really excited to do this eye look because I used the new Dose of Color Desi X Katie collection right here. And I got inspiration from the packaging because I did a brown smoky eye look with a pop of glitter liner that's super pretty and definitely got inspiration from this. But yeah, I got really excited because look at this palette. I'm sure you guys have seen it all over the place, but this palette, honestly, is so beautiful and so universal. From the pop of color to the browns and neutrals, honestly, I loved this palette and I loved, <laughs> I loved filming this look for you guys. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to learn how to do this look, just keep on watching. Alright guys, let's go ahead and get started. So I went ahead and already primed my lids with the Urban Decay Primer Potion in the shade Original. So it has absolutely no color. And we're going to go ahead and start off with our first shade in this eyeshadow look. And this is in the shade called Necessary. Now this is just a neutral brown color. So we're going to be using this as a transitional shade. And I'm going to be taking this eyeshadow with a big fluffy blending brush. All brushes will be listed down below. Um, but this is just a big fluffy one. It really helps diffuse the color. Especially because this is going to be a transitional shade. So you really want to make sure that you do blow it out. And I'm just slowly building up this color. I'm really focusing on this transitional shade because I want to make sure that it is well blended. Um, so that way when it comes time to adding the darker shades, it just makes the blending process a lot smoother. Alright, so once that is all blended out, it should look a little like this. Um, next, we're going to go ahead and take the next shade, and this is in the shade called Chiro. Um, it's just kind of a warm, darker brown shade, and I am using this on my outer crease and then also on my crease. Now I'm also taking the shade with a big fluffy blending brush. Now this look does not have to be precise whatsoever because it is a brown smoky eye. Um, so once you are satisfied with the color on your crease and the outer crease, you want to go in back with the first brush and the first shade called Necessary and just really blend out the edges to make sure that it's really blown out. And of course, just go ahead and go in with the same steps on the other eye. Now once those two shades are blended out, it should look like this. And this eyeshadow look really only calls for three eyeshadows. So the last eyeshadow we're going to be using is in the shade called Cheens. And we're going to start this out on the outer corner and then just slowly start blending that out all the way towards the inner corner. Since this is a darker shade, we want to make sure that there aren't any kind of harsh edges. So just really take your time on blending this out all the way towards the inner corner. For this shade, I am taking a smaller blending brush to make sure that I could get into the inner corner and really blend out that color. Since I am using darker matte shades, I am really taking my time and blending out the colors to make sure that they are diffused into each other. And I'm going back in with the middle color in the shade Churro and just blending that out. And again with the shade Necessary and blending out the outer edges. Since this look calls for a lot of blending, I'm sure you guys are tired of hearing that word, but we want to make sure that we just go back in with the original shades 
because with the blending process a lot of the shades could get lost with the darker shades that we're using in the crease and the lid color so just go ahead and go back with more product and then just keep blending Okay, so once your hand hurts and you're satisfied with the blend, you should be left with something like this. Honestly, super easy, only took three eyeshadow shades. But now comes the tricky part, which is gonna be the wing eyeliner. And I'm just taking this black liquid liner and all products would definitely be listed down below. But you wanna make sure that this liner isn't too thick because we are gonna go uh, with a gold liner right on top of that. So it is definitely gonna make it a lot thicker. And I don't know, there's just something so satisfying about watching someone put on a wing liner. So just go ahead and enjoy this clip. All right, so now comes the fun part. I'm going to be taking the NYX Liquid Crystal Liner in the shade Crystal Gold, and I'm going to be placing this right on top of the black liquid liner. Now, I'm not gonna be covering the black liner. I'm just going to go ahead and go directly on top of it. And I honestly really love this glitter liner. The glitter is so opaque. As you can see, it really only takes a few strokes for that liner to be on and popping. Once done with the liner, I went ahead and curled my lashes and applied mascara. Now for the lashes, I went ahead and used Cocoa Lashes in the style Misha. They're not too fluffy, so it definitely allows the liner to shine through. And bam, what a big difference some lashes make. It literally just ties a whole look together. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and move on to the face. I'm going to be taking the Tarte Shape Tape and I'm just going to go ahead and apply this where I want to highlight and then also wherever I want to conceal some blemishes. And then I'm just going to go ahead and blend that out with a damp beauty sponge and this one is from Morphe. And prior to applying the concealer, I did also moisturize my face and primed with the Smashbox Pore Minimizing Primer. And for this look, I am not going to be using foundation. I'm pretty much just going to go ahead and use the concealer to spot conceal. Um, so I'm really taking my time to really blend out the concealer. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and set my concealer. I'm going to be using the RCMA translucent powder and I just placed it in this small container that I got from Amazon. But I'm pretty much just gonna go ahead and set my T-zone, so underneath my eyes, my forehead, down my nose, and on my chin. Alrighty, so now I'm gonna go ahead and set my entire face. I'm going to be using the Physicians Formula Mineral Wear Loose Powder. And I'm going to set my entire face, especially because I did not use foundation. So I wanted to make sure the concealer I place stays on all day. Okay, so now that my face is set, I am looking very pale. So I'm going to bring some color back into my face with the Chanel Soleil Dan de Chanel. And I'm going to be taking this with a fluffy brush. And then I'm just going to go ahead and bronze wherever I need more color. Okay, so now once I am done bronzing the face, I'm going to contour a little bit. I'm going to be using the Tarte Park Avenue Princess Bronzer. And with a smaller definer brush, I'm really gonna get into the hollows of the cheeks. And this is kind of my trick so that a contour doesn't look so harsh. I always place a lighter bronzer color and then go on top of it with a darker contour color.
All right, now it's time to slightly snatch the nose. Now I'm still working on perfecting the contour of the nose, so I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward this part. Um, but I am pretty much just going to use the same steps as I did with the cheeks. All right, so now it's time to add some color back to the lower lash line. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with the first shade that I use on the eyes, the shade called Necessary, and then just slightly define that. Now once that is blown out, I'm going to go ahead and take the shade Churro and just finish defining the lower lash line. And during this step, my battery did die, so I went ahead and just applied my eyebrows off camera. Um, but now I'm going back to the lower lash line and I'm going to be taking the darker shade in the shade Cheens. And I'm just going to go ahead and fully blend this out on my lower lash line. And I'm also going to take a smaller clean blending brush and then just go ahead and finish blowing this out. I definitely needed more color to my face so I went ahead and took the MAC Sweet as Cocoa Sheer Tone Shimmer Blush and I'm just going to go ahead and pop that to the apples of my cheeks. And lastly comes the fun part, I'm going to go ahead and go in with the highlighter in the shade Fuego. And I'm also going to be taking that Fuego shade and highlighting my brow bone. And honestly, this shade is so beautiful. I'm literally just admiring the glow right now. Now, I really wanted to use the full collection for this look. So I'm going to be taking the lipstick in the shade Hey Girl. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this all over my lips. Next, I'm going to go ahead and take the gloss over the top and apply this all over my lips. And guys, this lip gloss is so beautiful. I use it without makeup. I use it on top of different lipsticks. Honestly, so obsessed with this lip gloss. I'm going to be taking the Urban Decay D Slick Oil Control Setting Spray. And I definitely do not want my hard work to be melting off. So I'm just going to go ahead and set my makeup. Now even though that lipstick shade was so beautiful, it was a little bit too peachy for me. Um, so I went ahead and took the Kat Von D Bow and Arrow Liquid Lipstick and applied this all over my lips. I'm definitely a gloss girl, so I went ahead and also popped on the L'Oreal Nude Ballet Lip Gloss. And I felt like this just made the whole look. So that way the emphasis is mainly on the eyes. Um, but you guys, I'm so obsessed with this glow. Like, let's give it to me. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this look as much as I loved filming this for you guys. Um, but yeah, I'll go ahead and see you guys on my next video.